Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and it's the first week of September, early morning, and I wanted to take you for a walk in the Appalachian Mountains to see coral fungi. In the last few weeks, we've had a bit of rain, and that started this uh, fungal growth that we see. And remember that these fungi we see are the fruiting bodies of a part of the organism that is under the ground or in wood or in the soil or intertwined with tree roots year round and what we see that comes up above the ground is merely the fruiting bodies and today's episode is going to be about coral fungi and we're going to find some really great stuff and i thought the best way to do it was to take you for a walk with me right here in the Appalachian Mountains of Southwest Virginia, where we have in the Appalachian Mountains over 2,200 different species of fungi. And some speculate that there might be another 20,000 or more species yet to be identified. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's to make this invasive. There's a top. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's as we walk up the trail, I'm keeping my eye out both on the right and left for any interesting fungi. And here, calling out their name to me is a coral fungus. Check these guys out. These are a yellow coral fungus called Calibulunupus fusiformis. And remember, these are just the fruiting bodies of the hypha that live underneath the ground year round. And these guys are saprophytes. Saprophytes are fungi that break down dead material. In this case, these guys feed on the leaf litter in hardwood forests. So saprophytes feed on the remains of organisms that have died. And you can see why they get the name coral fungus, because they really do look like coral. If I look up over here, there's another grouping coming up right here. And we'll take a look over this way. And here's some even uh, larger ones. As I walk along, I'm aware of the many different fungi that are around me, like these fungi here, growing like little shelves on the side of the tree. But as I walk over this way, what really catches my eye is these orange coral fungi. I just can't get over the beauty of these guys. Let's go down and take a closer look at these. These are so amazing. And you can see they're not really that big, but look at that distinctly orange color. That's very characteristic of this particular kind of coral fungi. And again, you can see why they're called coral fungi, because they look like something that you would see growing underneath the sea. But these are in fact terrestrial fungi, terrestrial mushrooms. They're not known for the edibility, most of them, are toxic or somewhat toxic, and so it's not recommended that anyone eat these. These are just to look at and observe and remark on how beautiful they are. I've always said, as you walk through the woods, you never know what you might find. And there's a lot of different fungal species that are popping up in the forest right now. And over here is one of my favorites, but, while it's white like some fungi, it's not a fungus at all. This is Indian pipe, also known as ghost pipe. And it's a true flowering plant. It's lost its ability to produce chlorophyll. It gets its nutrition outside of the sun, unlike other flowering plants, but it is a true flowering plant. Check out my episode on this where I go into the detail of the complex interrelationship between this 
fascinating organism and its surroundings and its environment. I'm always surprised by what I find. And here is a big grouping of a white coral fungus. Let's take a closer look and check these guys out. This one looks like death, like, like one of the corals in the sea, representing some of the white corals that you might see, or corals that have lost the organisms that are on them, that give them a color and have washed up on the beach. These are just white, white, white. My big old dog, D, gets impatient with me when I slow down to look at stuff. But I gotta take you over here because I saved the very best of this video for last. This to me is one of the most incredible fungi. And of all the coral fungi, definitely the most beautiful. Check these guys out. Isn't that spectacular? And I almost got here too late because something seems to have been feeding on these. But look at these amazing purple coral fungi. They are so spectacular. These fungi are called Claveria zolingeri, and they are deep purple. And the purple is absolutely unmistakable. And there's several little groupings around here. I've actually saw this about five or six years ago and I haven't seen it again, and I was hoping I could find it. And this is what really made me want to do this video, because I had to show you these coral fungi. And now that I found this one, I had to definitely, definitely, I had to show you these guys, because they are just so cool, and so looking like something you would find in the deep sea, in a coral reef, and not on the forest floor of the woodlands. And these guys again, they're saprophytic. They feed on the leaf litter that's growing here. Their fungal hypha penetrate into the decaying leaves and release enzymes and take in nutrition from these leaves. And what we're seeing here are the fruiting bodies and the spores will form on the outside of these structures and get blown away by the wind and hopefully land in a place that they can grow and continue their species again. Aren't they amazing? Well, I hope you enjoyed this early morning walk with me through the Appalachian Forest. Here at my place, 18 acres at 2,700 feet, I'm really lucky because I can walk these trails every day around my property. And every day I find something new. And all of my episodes just are about what I come across as I'm out or what one of my neighbors might call me and say, hey, Frank, what is this? I hope you enjoyed this format. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. If you like mushrooms, check out my other uh, episodes I've done on the cinnabar chanterelle, smooth chanterelles, jack-o'-lantern mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and wood of the year. There's some really cool stories behind each of those uh, species. So if you like what I do, please subscribe, give me a like, uh, let me know what you thought of this video, and thanks for Nate watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Till next time.